Okay, YouTube, we are on to our third video today, our birch box. So, um, I feel like I keep getting BoxyCharm and birch box mixed up. They are not the same thing, not even close. I'm obsessed with BoxyCharm. Um, and so I just got really excited half a second ago, like, oh, I get to unbox my BoxyCharm in front of YouTube. No, it's the birch box. So, this is another one of those less expensive boxes, $10 a month, just like Ipsy. And um, I might have to... Turn the camera off while I try to get this undone. Yeah, it's gonna take me a minute. Okay, after tons of nail damage, that is me trying to rip. And I hate the way tape makes my skin feel, so. Okay, so once we get it all unpackaged, there is a box inside because it is our Birch box. It is a box, beauty box. Um, here is the box this month. It's super cute. It's adorable and it has graffiti on the bottom. Hashtag Birchbox Fresh. Community Fun Beauty. Treats. Um, magical. I hope there's magic inside this box. What do you guys think? Okay, let's get started. Um, Birchbox is one where you can choose one of your items every month, which I do kind of love that. I hate ruining the surprise. Um, there's usually releases of what's in boxes, and so even while I hate ruining the surprise of knowing 20% of what's going to be in this box, it doesn't stop me from clicking the link to know what's inside my Etsy completely. So um, I guess I'm an oxymoron, but here's our note on top. It says, falls around the corner. We're jumping into multitasking mode, which is probably very true for those of you mamas that have kids going back to school. Um, and celebrating the versatile time-saving products that help us juggle everything on our to-do list. So it's kind of about um, life picking up and multitasking. So let's give it a look and see what we got here in this beautiful box. I love it. They put a good foam underneath, which is fun. And Birchbox was, I think, the first box. I subscribed to Ipsy and Birchbox and BoxyCharm all in June. So this is just my fourth month you guys are getting to see me unbox. So... This is the one I chose. This is by a company called Milk Makeup or Milk Cosmetics. Um, there was three options from them this month, and it is a lip and cheek product. And the color just looked beautiful, um, which it does here too. It looks a little more orange here than it actually is. It's kind of more like this. It's like a got some rose, but got some um, peach, orange, coral situation. So let's let's put it on my cheeks and see what we think. It looked on the video that I saw like it gives, which I can't see on this camera, like it gives a little bit of a glow. So it has a little bit of a sheen, even with the pink color. Uh, it might be a little too light for me on lips. It kind of gave me a new lip look, which I don't love. It might be a little too light for me. But anyways, it's pretty. Um... I love to use products that give me, either they have avocado oil on them or they have a little bit of a sheen, um, not so much shimmer the older I'm getting, it makes my skin look weird, but anything that makes me look like I'm glowing, I feel like always makes me look like I'm younger. So whether that's my hair being super moisturized or my face, I'm much less into um, things being mattified than I was years ago. So that's great, it's going to give us some shine. Okay, next one, let's get... Let's get on to the ones that I don't like. Okay, so in my box reveal email I got, I, it told me I was getting an Escada Aqua Del Sol, which is true. And I'm an idiot because I thought that meant I was going to get the whole one ounce, like a, the small version, because that is what the link said, I swear. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm not so crazy about what I'm getting in my birch box this month, but I am getting a whole $75 or $90 perfume. And so, you know what? Um, that's awesome. For a $10 box, that's actually kind of crazy. I should have known. How would they do that? There's no way. So it is a tiny little vial perfume sample, which is one of my five items. And a lot of people write about beauty boxes that they're okay with perfume samples, if it's in addition to their five items. So this being one of my five this month is kind of like, uh, cause I mean likelihood that I'll like the scent since I only like to wear masculine scents is so unlikely. 
but it's a little bit frustrating, to be honest. I'm a little bit down on my Sephora play, my Allure, and my Birchbox this month. And for me, with September being such a big month in the beauty world, world um, I just I honestly don't really understand why like September issues of magazines. I mean, September is huge in the beauty world. So to, to do the worst box I've gotten in June, July, August, and now September, to be the worst box out of four is like, I honestly think that they should be rolling out the red carpet at September. Okay, that being said, with all my whining and complaining, I actually kind of like this, which shocks me. Um, it smells... There's some fruit in there, like probably not pineapple, but there's something fruity, but it's also really sweet and kind of like, like I said, I like, like kind of a heavier scent. So if I'm going to get a perfume in September, let it be something I'm going to wear in fall and winter. And when it's too summery, I'm not going to wear it until next summer. And that's way too long. So this one, I actually probably would wear in fall. I feel like it has some food flavors. Like I said, pineapple, which isn't true, but maybe like vanilla or someone help me. I'm I, I could probably Google it later and figure out what the notes are in it, but um, I mean, in fall with pumpkins and Thanksgiving and whatever, we want to be smelling like food smells smell good in our house and on us. So that's um, actually kind of a win. So that's okay. Our next item is Dr. Brandt Pores No More. So it's for oily or combination skin, which I'm very dry. I have some psoriasis and then also oily in places. So I'm Technically combination, but would probably lean towards oily, I think. Um, and it looks like it is just a cleanser that is refining. And um, as we know, the more dirt we get out of our pores, the smaller our pores look. So um, I will comment if I think it's incredible. I'm sure I probably will like Dr. Brandt products. So it'll probably be, out of cleansers, a pretty good one to have, I would bet. Okay, this is something I've been really excited about. So this is called Lemon Rinse. And I was like, what is this? It's big. It's a big sample. So that's exciting. And um, it's a clarifying treatment, pH re balance restorative rinse for your hair. So I think um, there's bubbles moving up through it that are moving very slowly. If you, I don't know if you can see one here. See it? Uh, yeah, right there. So it's probably like a gel texture. Those bubbles moving slowly, I'm just saying, tells me that it's gel, like gelatinous. Um, after shampooing and conditioning, so I'm like, what? I mean, I know about deep conditioner goes after conditioning, but what about a rinse? Thoroughly saturate your hair from root to tip with lemon rinse. Allow the treatment to remain for a few seconds before rinsing. So just a few seconds. You leave it on one, two, three, four, five, and then rinse. Style is desired. So this is basically a clarifying treatment when your hair has built up too many products. And we know lemons are um, detoxing fruits. So what you do is, if you're a big dry shampoo user, I spray the days I curl, I spray some um, hairspray. So I guess if I was going to, wanted my hair to go back to its shiny, slippery, my hair is like as flat as it is on my roots self, then I would want to do a clarifier um, every once in a while. So I don't own one right now. I hardly ever do that and I'm glad to have one. So especially those of you that use dry shampoo that really gunk your hair up with dry shampoo or your scalp, this would be a great thing to own probably and use occasionally. Okay, our last item of today, um, a sealed Mali mascara. So it says it's a volumizing mascara. I've heard of Mali Beauty. I do not think I've owned, I've owned anything yet. So we've got a couple new companies for me this month. Um, Milk, which I've heard of and never bought or used, and Mally. And this Lemon Rinse. I don't know who that is by. Beautiful Nutrition. I'm kind of excited about it. Okay, let's just see how these bristles look to us. Okay, this is super interesting. These are way smaller bristles than usual. <laughs> And the hat, cat's head pops up. Can you see him, guys? He's trying to be in our video. Oh, that is hilarious. And he's talking to you guys. Okay, those brushes look great. So, let's see. Okay, so we've got a pigmentation. 
in this one, you can't really see the difference because I already had mascara on, which doesn't really help you see it all. But I do think more than color impact, which it does look like this comes in black, it says it on there. Um, it is going to lift. If I hadn't had a layer of uh, mascara on, which I wasn't already happy with today because of my primer. Um, the cat is moving the camera. Gosh, get me out of this house. Uh, this would mostly be lifting instead of depositing or shine or anything like that. So if you want a good volumizing mascara, it looks like that one's all right. Um, the main win for me and the surprise this month was the Escada perfume. So weird. Um, I had no idea I would like that. I probably actually will wear that whole sample. And um, I'm excited to try this new cleanser by Dr. Brandt, but mostly happy about this. Let's swatch this on my hand. You guys can see. Um, very sheer, kind of corally, um, great color for people with fair complexions like me, even year round. And moisturizing. So in the depth of winter, when our skin begins to get dry, this is a good blush option. Instead of adding that powder to your cheeks, adding a sheer type of moisturizing look to make those um, rosy cheeks glow this winter. So comment below, let me know what you guys thought. Hope you liked our September Birch Box.